Good morning. My name is Lydia, and I'm a member here on the staff, as well as the lead of the A Mother's Heart Grow Group at Our Lady of Mercy. I'm here today to share with you about a new initiative in our diocese that we're going to be bringing here to Our Lady of Mercy. And it's called Walking with Moms in Need. Walking with Moms in Need is a process through which Catholic parishes and communities walk in the shoes of local pregnant and parenting women in need. It's an initiative of the church through which we as a community can team together to support mothers in need. I'm a mother of four. I have three daughters and a son. And I'd like to share with you all my experience of how the church walked with my husband and me during our third pregnancy in the year 2018. At that time, I was a stay-at-home mom with our daughters ages two and four. And my husband and I had been talking about the likelihood that he would be leaving his job soon, and not only leaving his job, but switching careers, which meant that I, too, would be going back to work. About two days after he made the decision to leave his job, we discovered that we were pregnant with our third child. And although we always had an openness to life and had the love and support of our friends and family, and knew that this baby was well-loved from the moment of conception. The reality of this pregnancy was that we were two parents without jobs, with two children at home to support, and now a baby on the way. So if you're a mom like me, then you probably know the saying, it takes a village. And so like Mary, when she receives the news that she's going to be the mother of Jesus, she runs to meet her cousin Elizabeth. I too, in response to this pregnancy, set out in search of a community. And what I found was the church. I began a new ministry called the A Mother's Heart Grow Group, which is for Catholic mothers seeking to grow in holiness through the lenses of motherhood and family life. And I attended a Christ Renews His Parish Women's Weekend Retreat, where I met many women who would guide me and continue to guide me to this day on my faith journey. Then eventually I got hired as an office assistant for the parish and became a member of the staff. So I didn't see it then, but now looking back I can see that the Lord knew something about this pregnancy that we didn't. And he was using his army, the church, to equip us for the storm that was ahead. So what did God know that we didn't? Well, it began at 31 weeks when I was, my water bag ruptured early and I was placed on bed rest in the hospital. And during that time, my husband was at home. He was still looking for a job, but he was working um, a hourly position full time while caring for our children, getting them to school, doing the grocery shopping, the laundry, and many of the things that I would have been doing if I wasn't on bed rest. And it was very evident during that time how God was using his church to uphold us. Because in addition to our family and friends, it was Our Lady of Mercy's parishioners who were in the chapel praying for us and for our baby. Members of the parish community cooked dinner for my husband and the kids weekly. They purchased groceries and gift cards to help us cut down on expenses. Eucharistic ministers came to the hospital to visit me and bring me Jesus because I was unable to go to Mass. Mothers from my ministry and from the Christ Renews His Parish weekend retreat came and visited me in the hospital. And then at 34 weeks pregnant, the evening before I was to be induced, our pastor at the time came and visited me in the hospital to give me the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. So as you can see, as the days and weeks were going on, it was just becoming more and more evident each day how the Lord was using his church to lovingly care for and support us during our time of need. Our baby girl was born six weeks premature at three pounds, 13 ounces big. She had a feeding tube and was in the newborn intensive care unit for five weeks. Towards the end of her hospital stay, she was unexpectedly diagnosed with Down syndrome. Most would agree that our pregnancy journey was not an easy one, and you're right, but my husband and I would never have had it any other way. Our baby girl has blessed us tremendously and we now know that the Lord placed her in our life to bring us and others closer to Jesus and his church. 
God knew the storms that we were going to face, but he didn't leave us alone in the boat. And so if you're a mother here in the pews who is in need, I pray that you hear this message from the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Jesus gives us his church as a gift. And we, the members of the body of the church, are meant to give ourselves as gift to others. Everyone in our parish community should know where to refer a pregnant or parenting woman in need. Pope Francis says we are to become islands of mercy in a sea of indifference. So on your way out of Mass today, our wonderful Knights of Columbus are distributing roses for all the mothers here. And attached to each of those roses is a postcard. And on it are local and parish resources for women in need. So I encourage you to check that out. And if you are not a mother, or even if you are, I also encourage you to, after the Mass here today, to sometime go onto our website to check out our Walking with Moms in Need. And you can just let us know what your needs are or if you're interested in volunteering for that ministry. And so I now ask that you join me in prayer as a parish community as we invoke the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, lifting up all mothers here today, as well as all mothers in our community who are in need, as together we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. I'd like to wish all mothers a happy Mother's Day. May you always know how loved and supported you are and that you have a family here in the church who loves you and desires to walk and journey with you. And may the Lord continue to bless you in this beautiful vocation and gift of motherhood that he has called you to. God bless.